Hey guys, so I have tried now three times to make this video, and the Lord has just been telling me, you got to push through, Sean. You got to share what, I, what I'm what i showing you. I, I have been under attack like I cannot explain lately. So, but the Lord is just reminding me and reminding me, keep pushing through, and He's going to give me strength. Um, but before I share the message, I wanted to share my day and I had a comment. Someone asked me if I would share how I pray and what my day is like and everything I do is organic, but it starts out when I wake up first thing, I'm just praying to the father for him to give me guidance th throughout the day and lead me in his ways in my heart so that I know every step that I take I am I'm guided by the Father in heaven and you know I asked Jesus you know any with any problem I have any situation I, I'm asking how to handle it nowadays I'm done trying to figure it out on my own completely done and Something I do before I go work is I get my Bible out. I have one in my truck, and I pray to the Father in heaven. I say, Lord, show me what passage you want me to share or read today. And it never fails. It happened again this morning. I was praying, and I had my Bible in my hand, closed. And when I opened it, the Lord led me straight to... Ezekiel chapter 23 verses 28 through well you could go from verse 28 all the way to the end of the chapter but the mighty one our father in heaven is talking to the Israelites about you know because they have chosen the way of the heathen and uh, chosen whoredom and worshiping idols that he is going to turn them over to the world God is not going to He's just going to remove himself so they understand how the world is and how wicked it is. And then they'll see how good God's ways are. And it hit me so hard, guys. It just hit me so hard because that is what happens in this world. Um, I was shown something and I wasn't sure I wanted to share it because I didn't have a lot of detail. But I got the... And, I got the message once I read the passage this morning to confirm what I was shown. But when your soul was made, was created, the Holy One, the Father in Heaven was there, and so was His Word, Yeshua, Jesus. And when your soul was made, God looked at you and, and just all he could think was that it is good. It is This is good. And he was very happy and very pleased. But he also knew that when you went into the world, that there were going to be stumbling blocks left and right. Because when you are born, the moment you're born, the evil one has his eyes set on you. Everybody in, on this earth. The evil one, all he, all he does is connive and think of ways to destroy you. But God, I was shown that he puts in a seed into it built into you like a fail safe that is directly connected to him. And uh, sorry, I had to pull over real quick. And that seed is your direct connection to him, to the Father in heaven. That the evil one, your whole life, his whole plan is to destroy you so that you lose your redeemability. Now, this God's seed is sown into your DNA. And I was shown this. Into, into your body. He basically writes his signature on you. You belong to him. But if, if someone chooses to change that, their body or change their DNA that you no longer belong to the Father in heaven 
and I saw that clear as day. Now, what that means, I don't know. I, I'm not going to speculate. I'm just showing you what I saw, and it just is getting more and more clear. But to see that, to see your soul being made and, and seeing Jesus there and the Father and then, you know, the Holy Spirit, the Elohim, Ruach, it it was an incredible picture and it explains a lot about what goes on in the world because the world is is wicked full of lies deception sin but we all have that seed now how do we water that seed to bring forth good fruit in the eyes of the lord well daily prayer repentance, re staying in God's word. And I'm not talking about the salvation. I'm talking about repentance in the sense of showing reverence to a mighty God, to the mighty one who made your soul, gave you life, gave it to you freely. You did nothing to earn your life. Nothing. And but this world is set up to pervert and dilute and destroy that free gift of God. And I'll tell you guys, I've been shown things I may not cover in this video. I don't want to make it too long. That are going on in the world right now. And that are specifically set up to sever, to cut that direct link that you have with the Father in heaven. That is your state. That is it. That's the most important thing. You need to protect that gift with, by any means necessary. Period. And Jesus, his sacrifice... The work being finished, just paving the way, was God's way of the people that were, were so lost when Jesus came into the world. His teachings were foreign to them and he even said, you know, you I am from, you know, the root of David, yet you do not understand my words. Why do you not understand me? And then he says, it's because your father is the evil one. And there's a lot that goes into that, that I've been shown, and I, I'm not going to get into it today. But throughout the day, I pray. I have my Bible. I'll pray for guidance, what to read. And what scripture? And he leads me to the scripture I need to read. And before I go to bed, I do the same thing. I end up on my knees praying and talking to the Father in heaven about my day, what I could have done better, you know. And it it, it gets down to the minute details that he cleans up and clears up for me that I, I cannot explain. But that that little glimpse I was shown where souls were made, you should have seen the joy and the love. And felt the love in that moment. I, I I can't. It's almost so above uh, unexplainable that I can't. I just feel a, a complete peace when I when I reflect on it. But I will tell you, the urgency is real, and the attacks that have that I have been going through the last. Two days solid are, are no joke. You know, no joke at all. And I don't take for granted the free gift that God gave me. I have taken it for granted before, but right, that will not happen again. That is what I've, I am convicted and committed to that. That will not happen again. And that's what people do, or that's what people is, is happening in the world. Every day people take are not taking advantage of 
the gift that God has given them just to make a little tiny difference for somebody else. And by making these videos, which I never thought I would make, that is my contribution to try to make a difference. Um, and I do have, uh, there's so much going on and so much I, I, I have been led to share that I need to share. I don't know if I have enough time. I pray that we have enough time for, because there's so many people that are asleep at the wheel, just blank. So if you feel it in your heart or your spirit, you're in public to go talk to someone or pray for them or pray over them, do it. I don't. I know, I know it can be an intimidating situation, but the other day, I'll give you an example. Before I go, I was in Chick-fil-A, the drive-thru, getting our food, and I just flat out asked the manager, um, you know, have any of you guys in there been having any strange dreams? And the manager said, yeah, actually, I have. I have. And I was like, like, biblical, like, into the world, the Lord coming back, and he kept nodding his head like all the above. So pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to what you see and hear and dream. There, there, it's no coincidence. Nothing is a coincidence in this world. But I pray for you guys. I love you guys. Keep the Bible close. Not in a, like I'm trying to be holier than thou or better or, or make a statement. I don't, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to explain how to water that seed, how to, nurture the seed that God put in you the moment your soul was made that you must protect. It is the way back home. It is your map to get back home to the Father. Anyways, love you guys. We'll talk later. Bye.